Stand for it. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, my question to the Premier. Today, the government's former lead negotiator on the Oakville gas plant and former chief of staff to the Premier of Ontario told that the Treasury Board would have reviewed the memorandum of understanding between TransCanada and the Ontario Power Authority, and the Treasury Board would have reported to the Cabinet about that document that resolved that conflict. How much did the Treasury Board tell the Cabinet it would cost to settle the gas plant scandal? Premier. Government has leader, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker the, uh, the question of cost is something that's being looked at by the Auditor General and officer of this legislature. It's also something that's being looked at by the committee. And quite frankly, Mr. Speaker, the committee's work would be a lot easier if they had voted for a government motion that was put forward and confirmed today by the chair that it was put forward and voted on uh, on the fact that uh, we were going to give a, a cross-government uh, collection of documents to the committee uh, that went far beyond anything that ever been requested in the past. But, Mr. Speaker, to my shock, I think most members on this side of the House were left scratching their head. That member and his colleagues put their hands up and voted against such a motion, which would have made the answer to uh, many of the questions the committee is looking at answer. much easier. Thank you. Supplementary. I've got a pick. Premier, that same lead negotiator and former chief of staff told the committee that he didn't know the history of the file when it was given to him, that he apparently didn't know the costs and wasn't briefed on them, that he didn't cost the plans that he brought back. And when he was chief of staff to the Premier, he never looked at the memorandum of understanding that settled the conflict with TransCanada Enterprises. So the lead negotiator and the Premier's Chief of Staff 